Louie the legal hyena, and it's spring break season again. I'm here to give you some information so legal problems won't ruin your vacation. If you have booked your trip with a travel agent, be sure to have the agent's number handy. If something goes wrong, they can be calling on your behalf, or if they promised you something, you can track them down. If you have booked with an online travel consolidator, you may have little recourse if something goes wrong. Just be aware of that. Check your hotel contract. Make sure you ask about any resort fees or charges in advance. Some resorts will add up to $25 per day per person. Some resort fees you can challenge. Make sure the contract doesn't include you giving up your rights to privacy and giving the hotel the right to let police enter your room without your consent. When you arrive at your room, check all furnishings, lights, and blinds immediately for their condition. If something is broken, damaged, or scratched, do not move into the room, but instead summon a manager. Make sure they sign off on all pre-existing conditions so you are not held responsible at the end of your stay. And on that note, remember, if you break it, you will usually buy it. That shabby little night table could set you back $500. You are at the mercy of the hotel, and the hotel determines the replacement price. If you are traveling outside the U.S., realize you leave your laws and rights behind when you get off the plane. A behavior that might get you a warning on campus could land you in jail on vacation. Don't hold your breath hoping some country will recognize your U.S. constitutional rights. Be especially aware of open intox and vague disorderly person laws. You might be just a little tipsy and stumble, but the police could arrest you for being a disorderly person. If you are going to a somewhat sketchy country, make sure you have a phone number for the U.S. consulate or embassy handy. Always know where your money, credit cards, and ID are at all times. It is a good idea to make a photocopy of your passport and driver's license and store them in a different place. That way, if your information is lost, you do have some place to start to prove your identity. Also, keep the 1-800 number for your credit cards handy. If your card is stolen, you can quickly call to get it canceled. Ladies, be sure to watch out for drug drinks. Bartenders have been known to work with friends in the crowd to make you more available. Never go anywhere alone, not in a cab or back to the room. Always stay in a group with friends you know. Never head out with someone you've just met either. You could be robbed, assaulted, or worse. Be wary of pickpockets. They are practiced and ready to separate you from your valuables. Avoid quiet streets, alleys, or any place you could be waylaid or ambushed. While it may seem like Louie is making spring breaks scary, he has friends who have had every one of these things happen on their spring breaks. Be smart, be aware, and be sure to get enough sleep. Always remember that what you did last night has the potential to end up on the internet and be seen by a potential employer. But that's another story. For more information about your rights, go to www.legalhyena.com. Have fun!